Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was a baby once. Some would argue that I still am a baby. No matter, we're not going to dwell on those people at this point in time. Instead, we're going to focus on this email sent to me the other day. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Uh, this was from my friend Jim Atwood. And uh, he is currently working as an IT consultant for companies in Japan. He's been living there for 17 years, married with two young girls, three and six. He says, and I quote, I have an interesting topic or question that perhaps might be fun to talk about sometime with your viewers. You have both older and younger viewers, and some older viewers who act like they're younger viewers, and even some parents. So I imagine this topic would be viewed differently for everyone. How will all the videos photographs and blogging of young kids posted on the internet by parents affect their lives in the future. We're in a new generation now where baby pictures are all over the internet and young kids might not have much say about it. Is it dangerous? Is it cool? Could it help young kids in the future? Hinder them? Will young kids resent the attention? Perhaps high school kids will one day go to school and find out their friends have discovered a gold mine of old data about a particular student. How might they feel about their privacy being invaded, or will they just think that it's the norm of this new high-tech generation? I know you don't have kids, but I was curious. If you did, how might you approach kids and the internet? Would you have them on your show? A lot of people, including myself, post photographs on Flickr, for example, video on YouTube, or blog the activities of the kids. Would you make them private or public? I even see some folks have a Facebook, MySpace, or other social page set up as a place mark for their family names or kids' names. Some even reserve domain names or channels. I often think about what kids might think when they become 14, knowing some of their baby pictures or life stories may have been posted to the internet. Perhaps young kids up to date will just accept it as the norm since they will no doubt evolve with all the technology. It's an interesting topic, I think. So many parents are using digital SLRs, camcorders, and social sites to post info about their kids and even themselves. It's interesting to think how kids of the future might think about that. When they're young, they most often won't have a say. How might they feel later about that? Considering you post a portion of your life daily on the internet, I thought you and your viewers might be good people to ask. And he says, P.S. I wrote this because I respected your info about reading to kids, which I found both interesting and true. I do with mine as much as possible and thought your views were excellent. Thank you. Um, Jim, uh, thank you for emailing. Uh, certainly, uh, this is a more interesting topic, I think, for uh, adults who have kids of their own and certainly for kids, too. Uh, I know we do uh, get kids coming into the channel, which is one of the reasons why we keep everything as, um, you know, kid-friendly as humanly possible. Of course, this is a, a window into my life, and you never really know what's going to happen. Now, that said, the, the question of uh, that was asked of me was, uh, what would I do? And I would like to believe uh, that uh, I would enjoy sharing uh, that part of my life with everybody. I mean, certainly diaper changes would be fun on a live video feed. Uh, that would certainly uh, most likely be embarrassing at some point uh, in the future of that kid's life. But hey, everybody poops. There's a book about that, by the way. I don't know if everyone poops. Have you read it? Oh, nail biter. Well, not literally. You wouldn't want to bite your nails if you were changing someone's diet. So, yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's okay to a point. Um, I certainly, um, you know, have embarrassed my dogs on more than one occasion, which is one of the reasons you don't see my dogs in the videos as much, because, uh, you know, they kind of got, around dog uh, school, uh, they got made fun of, because uh, they were the dogs in that uh, Star Wars pet costume video. Uh, they'll never live it down. I, it's it's tricky, and I realize now I'd say, yes, I would be, you know, sharing a lot. Um, I do believe, though, that this is going to become the norm, um, you know, privacy issues are still paramount, and uh, I would like to believe that, you know, having a, a child grow up, uh, being open like that would certainly serve them better in later life. Uh, I think, you know, too many people are hindered because they're not happy about who they are. 
They're not proud of who they are. Uh, they have very little sense of self. And I think, you know, sharing your life, uh, you know, certainly the happier moments and being cognizant of not sharing the less than happy moments, um, you know, could uh, prove to be, I think, quite beneficial to one's uh, self-esteem. That being said, uh, there are a lot of idiots on the internet, uh, kids and adults, and adults who act like kids, as I kind of said uh, a few minutes ago. Um, you know, y you'll learn to develop a, a really thick skin, uh, and you realize that people are going to form opinions and make judgment calls where they just are um, unwarranted. It's going to happen anyway. And, uh, you know, getting used to it sooner rather than later may serve one better, I believe. Uh, could help overcome shyness. Uh, certainly, you know, gain you some amount of recognition for the people who do believe in you and the things that you do and who you are when they like you for who you are. You have a greater chance of being yourself and understanding yourself if you're open about yourself, you know? And I think uh, sharing this, uh, these bits of your life online can you know, help facilitate that, a greater sense of self. Uh, I, I think adults would be remiss in not seeing that. I also do believe there is a, some amount of responsibility on behalf of the adult uh, to educate the child with uh, social responsibilities. And uh, it's still very much uh, relevant online as much as it has been offline, even more so, because I encounter kids, um, like, uh, all the time. And in fact, if I asked the age range of the people who are in the chat room right now, at, you know, even at like 1245 in the morning, guarantee it's going to be all over the map. Guarantee. Um, you know, we're going to have young kids. Uh, and I consider anybody who's under, sorry, anybody who's under the age of 21, you're young. Even under 18, you're young. Actually, now I think we're skewing a little older. I don't know. Did I see any teen? I think I saw only one teen in here. Just one, maybe two. Um, you know, the hope is, uh, you know, you can understand that giving the child the ability to decide once they understand what's going on is going to be important. Not putting that child in an embarrassing situation is also going to be important. Um, you know, at least as, as far as them being able to vocalize, yes, no, they like that, they don't like that. Um, you know, this is a, a certainly a, a line that, that can get crossed, especially when the child doesn't have a say. And I think when the child's old enough to have a say, uh, the adult needs to respect that. Um, but I also think that it's, it's fun to show the possibilities, um, you know, of, of, you know, just enjoying connecting with other people who you otherwise wouldn't have been able to connect with. Uh, sharing affinities, and even that young, you know, you, you've developed certain things that you like, uh, whether television shows or movies or books or you know, just whatever the affinity or hobby happens to be. Uh, and the adult can share that, you know, certainly with other adults and, and, and keep a watchful eye over the activities of the child. Um, and the hope is, again, teaching social responsibility, that is, not posting things that could end up biting them. Uh, and I've... <laughs> I've had these conversations with mature adults, and they didn't believe me. They would post something to the internet. I said, you didn't want to post that. Trust me. You did. You had no idea what you were doing. And they said, I knew what I was doing. What are you talking about? They later regretted it. I was right. Everything I've posted to the internet, I knew would live forever. I knew would live forever. Good stuff, not so good stuff. I'm fully responsible for it. And if you don't have, uh, if you haven't taught um, a child, what's right and what's wrong, uh, how else are they going to learn? I mean, certainly through experience, but you have an opportunity of kind of guiding them through that. So yes, I think sharing is good within reason, and when the child is old enough to say yes or no, you need to respect the wishes of that child. Um, and who knows how old old enough is? You know, uh, I, I think uh, uh, it's, it's going to de depend on how much you're willing to give of yourself, how much your family is willing to give of itself. Um, something that, you know, when dealing with mature adults, uh, you have to own it. 
and if you don't own something, you have to be careful about sharing it. So I would not want to blog about Wicket if he did not want me to blog about it or I didn't own the story, you know, if I didn't have Wicket's permission to blog about something. Because my dog is really sensitive about stuff. I mean, you know, when he switched to Linux, uh, that was really, it. He, he took a lot of lumps. Um, it was really hard for him to do. He, uh, he moved from um, uh, using Windows uh, to Linux, and a lot of people were really upset. I mean, just they were they were going off on him. They were calling him names, and and Wicket felt bad. He really felt bad. I said, Wicket, you gotta understand, it's your life. I mean, I know you're a dog, and I know you like Linux, and I think you're you're okay with that decision. I'm fine because you're fine with it. Are you fine with it? And Wicket went, Oof! and I'm like, then forget what anybody else says. Because they don't know what they're talking about. Everybody's got an opinion, all right? Just let them have their say. Be yourself. And he was like, he felt better about that. He's not, he's not as, he's, he's still a little gun shy, but, you know, he can at least talk about it. He can at least now say that he uses Linux. And getting him over that hump was, uh, it was kind of tough. But I was glad to be there as uh, an adult figure in his life. Uh, very happy um, to do that for him. Pixie is still using Windows. Just so you know, she's very much looking forward to Windows 7. Oops, could you hear that? I farted. That wasn't a very mature thing to do. Then again, I didn't really set the topic about maturity, did I? Obviously. <clears throat> My email address is chris at .com. To end it on that flat note, <laughs> feel free to drop me a line. You've got a Another topic for discussion, something that has to do with technology in general. I'd be interested in your thoughts, certainly. Leave a video response if you want, or uh, you know, write it in text, you know, a comment or whatever. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts, especially if you have been through this as a child or as an adult. Uh, maybe you have different perspectives. I'm guessing everybody has got a, a good perspective. Ultimately, you have to decide what's important for you and or your family. And always respect the wishes of your parents, always, even if you disagree with them, always. Always, 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 always. Trust me. Just trust me. They may be crazy. Okay, so if they're crazy, don't listen to them. I'm just going to stop talking right now before I get myself in trouble. You're more than welcome to join us in our community if you are mature, although we do accept fart jokes, at geeks.perillo.com. And then there's also this chat room that's a part of the live video feed. I have no idea what they've been saying over the past however many minutes I've been babbling on, waxing pathetic as I normally do at this time of the night. Kind of sad, really, sitting here talking about social babies at about one in the morning. It's uh, it's what I do. It's what I enjoy doing. So if you like to geek out, we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I'm proving it right now at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. <laughs>